Shalom, who praises the hour, Bashem, El Shab, Bashem, Haraka, Kadash, double honors unto the apostles and elders of great new son of the world, and Shalom to the whole full elect. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a biblical commentary on the book of Hosea, the fifth ch chapter, and it reads Hear ye this, O priests, and hearken ye, house of Israel. Give ye ear, O house of, king, of the king, for judgment is towards you because ye have. Being a snare on Mizpah and a net spread upon Tabor, and the revolters are profound to make slaughter, though I have been a rebuker of them all. I know Ephraim and Israel is not hid from me, for now, O Ephraim, thou commits whoredom, and Israel is defiled. So the Most High Power is saying, Look, he, he's seen the whoredom of Ephraim, and how through his whoredom. Israel became greatly defiled, okay? And that's basically them dabbling in idolatry, which they still do to this day, all right? Save the, the elect men that have been taken out of the um, so-called, well, the Northern Kingdom, which consists of the so-called Hispanic tribes, you know, they've basically been, um, you know, the rest of it following after idolatry, Christianity, Santeria, all these different things they will not frame their doings to turn onto their power for their spirit for the spirit of whoredoms is in the midst of them and they have not known the lord that's right they haven't known the lord as if they knew the lord they'll know this doctrine but they would have been blessed with the gift of faith all right through the names of yahweh basham el shah basham all right um and the pride of Israel doth testify to his face. Therefore shall Israel and Ephraim fall in their iniquity. Judah also shall fall with them. So look, it was understood that Israel was set to fall. And they were going to fall into the hands of the Assyrians. That's what wound up happening. But Judah at that time was looking down. Excuse me. Was looking down the nose of Israel. <coughs> but but they they had their time coming as well man going into captivity underneath the babylonians <coughs> they shall go to their go with their flocks and with their herds to seek the lord but they shall not find him he have withdrawn himself from them so the lord's gonna hide his face from them all right they have dealt treacherously treacherously against the lord for they have begotten straight strange children now shall a month devour them with their portions. Yeah, the strange children, you know, it said, tells you in, um, uh, I'm trying to remember, um, Jeremiah about a de degenerative, um, plant or root, I can't remember word for word. But basically, Israel was, was, everything was done <coughs> basically in Israel being planted. For them to bring forth, you know, abundantly, you know, bountifully, a clean fruit, you know, and with great, um, I'm trying to think of the best word to describe this, to bring forth a fruit and great, bring forth fruit in great abundance, basically. But what happened was that, you know, it wound up bringing forth degenerative, degenerative um, fruit, man. All right. Blow ye the cornet in Gibeah and the trumpet in Ramah. Cry aloud at, um, at Bethaven after the old Benjamin. Ephraim shall be desolate in a day of rebuke. Among the tribes of Israel have I made known that which shall surely, surely be. All right. The princes of Judah were like them that removed the bound. Therefore I will pour out my wrath upon them like water. All right. <coughs> Ephraim is oppressed and broken in judgment because he willingly walked after the commandment. Right? Therefore will I be unto Ephraim as a moth and unto the house of the true Judah as rottenness. So when the the the, the kingdom of um, Israel and the kingdom of Judah went into captivity, that basically was the Lord being a moth like a moth onto clothing, you know, basically, you know, taking it apart, 
and you know the house of Judah is rottenness. You know, rot is the same one and the same thing. All right. When Ephraim saw his sickness and Judah saw his wound, then went Ephraim to to the Assyrian and sent for King Jerob, which ultimately wound up being to their their downfall because they went into captivity on the Assyrians, which they went through some some, some, some crazy acts, man. Like being um, <clears throat> skinned alive and various other things. Yet could they not? Yet could he not heal you, nor cure you for your wound? For I will be unto Ephraim, 